All right, so what's going on, family? I, I wanted to look on the internet yesterday and, and try to figure out, okay, what can we bring to the table so that we can discuss and have a conversation about? And I found it. It's right here. Can you, quote, buy Tesla merch with Doge soon? Elon Musk says, what do you think he said? He's been embracing Dogecoin for a long time, ever since, even during a period when he bought Twitter. He changed the logo from the bird to the dog. So, yeah, he has embraced this cryptocurrency, this meme coin. So what do you think his response was when he was asked that question? Let's see. Musk embrace of Dogecoin stems from direct appeals by workers, reflecting its grassroots popularity. In a moment of electrifying speculation, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, hinted at a potential game changer during his visit to the Berlin Berlin Gigafactory. During the event on the 13th of March, an audience member inquired and asked him about the possibility of purchasing Tesla vehicles using Dogecoin. Wait, hold up. You want to buy a Tesla with Dogecoin? Seriously, is that is that really what we want to do? Like I know in the back of Elon's mind, he probably said, "No, I don't want you to use Dogecoin to buy my Teslas." Why would he do such a thing? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you want to pay? Dogecoin for a Tesla. Now, from the perspective of the buyer of the vehicle, yes, that seems like a very good thing to do. But in Elon's case, on his side, he's like, okay, if I give everyone the opportunity to buy Teslas with Dogecoin, where would I take all of this Dogecoin to? Like, who else would accept Dogecoin as a form of payment? Well, this is what his response was. Quote, well, you know, at some point, I think we should enable that. You can buy Tesla merch with Doge, which is cool. See, he left it open ended. He didn't give a definitive yes or no. Which kind of gives you from a CEO perspective that he doesn't want to do it. Now, many people within the Doge coin community ate that up saying that oh hopefully we will be able to buy a tesla with doge but you can buy tesla merch with it right now because it's very low dollar now when you want to go out and buy a tesla a cyber truck that costs six figures high five figures what you gonna do with all that doge coin elon because there's not a market for him to take all of that dose that he can offload it and give it to somebody else. But he's trying to lead the audience, at least place him into a, a market or a moment of content. He's not trying to make them angry. He's not trying to make them upset. He's going to leave it open ended so that they can just go out and just think and ponder and wonder what if we're able to buy Tesla? He didn't say no. No, he didn't say no. But he said at some point, that could be in the next 30, 40, 50 years, though, that they should enable that. See, he didn't say we will. He said we should look at the words that people use. Musk impromptu revelation captured in a video shared by and user on Twitter. Doge official CEO set the cryptocurrency world a buzz. It's supposed to be written by like AI or something. Here it is right here though. This is when he was asked the question. Everyone's just looking in amazement, got their cell phones out, taking pictures. Hey Elon, can I buy a Tesla with Dogecoin? Uh, his response, that's cool. Maybe one day we should enable that. Ask yourself the question, why is he not doing it now? 
He's in Berlin and was asked that question at some point. And of course, you already know that the Dogecoin community ate this up. I think his reason he gives for supporting Dogecoin at the end of the video is awesome. Look at all the hype being promoted off of what he said on the mic at a gigafactory in Berlin, Germany. Losing money off Dogecoin. Making money off Dogecoin. Realizing Dogecoin is money. Now, what is money? We don't know. Money is just simply a medium of exchange. It's a connection point between two entities, two people two companies wherever one end connects to the other through this term called money so can dogecoin be used of course i mean when you look at tesla's website right here dogecoin support it's on their website they accept dogecoin but just for the merchandise they don't accept it for tesla vehicles yet will that happen it could be if the infatuation about this meme coin continues to flourish like if, if the market continues to enlarge itself to where Elon can offload 100 trillion doge to somebody else. Then he might he might will accept it for EV vehicles like I, I have no doubt about that because there's definitely a community. It's a community of fanatics who love doge. But is there a community of businesses willing to accept those coins? like they are with Bitcoin. There's a couple of questions here that I want to show you that are frequently asked to Tesla regarding Dogecoin. Somebody asked the question. Many people ask this one question. What if I send the wrong amount? If the incorrect amount of Doge is transferred, your order may be subject to cancellation. Now, Put all of these questions in the magnitude of you trying to go out and buy a Tesla vehicle, though. All right. So if you go out and buy an EV vehicle from Tesla using Dogecoin, what if you put in the wrong amount? According to them, for the merchandise, you may be subject to cancellation. Next one. Can I cancel an order purchased with Dogecoin, i.e., can I purchase and Tesla EV vehicle, can I cancel that order? No. Once an order is placed using Dogecoin as the payment method, it can no longer be canceled. So if you go out and buy a Tesla with Dogecoin and you hit that submit button or the send button, then it's already sent. You cannot cancel it. Can I return an item purchased with Dogecoin? No. See, you're getting more definitive statements on Tesla's frequently asked questions. But when Elon is in front of an audience, he doesn't give you definitive answers. You're getting them here on their website. Straight up. No, period. Can I return? Can you return a Tesla that you bought with Dogecoin? All Dogecoin purchases are final sale. Items purchased with Dogecoin cannot be returned, exchanged, or canceled. Items purchased with Dogecoin cannot be returned or exchanged for cash. Wow. See, when you go and do a little bit deeper research, you can see where Tesla stands with Dogecoin. And this will only be magnified if you go out and try to utilize Dogecoin to buy Tesla EV vehicles. What cryptocurrency does Tesla accept? Tesla only accepts Dogecoin. Okay. So be careful. I think that's the reason why he left that question that was posed to him open ended. We should at some point enable that. Talking about using Doge to buy a Tesla EV. Now. As you know, the audience ate that up. 
So here's the price action of Dogecoin. We did a price prediction all the way back on the 27th of February and it gone higher. Look at it. Just like many other altcoins in the space, many other meme coins, Dogecoin has participated in this move to the upside. If you work out of the market now, you're up 67% at the high when Dogecoin hit 20 and a half cents on March the 5th, you would have garnered 117% run. Good job. That's what the name of this game is all about. It's for us to come and profit from these market moves. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these sell zones because the price obviously blew right through that. So I really wanted to show you that we may have hit a high into the market in Dogecoin. right around here so we're going to create this area as a sell zone this is where a lot of selling pressure is hitting dogecoin that's a problem okay massive problem look at all of these days that the market has been hitting its head around 18 and a half cents why is not price in those going above that price level why there's only two forces in the market at any given time is either buying pressure or selling pressure. So all of these days right here is simply showing you how the market is trying to break above this sell zone, but they're unable to do it as of right now. So it's telling us, OK, there must be a lot of selling pressure there and it's going to it's going to take more buying volume, more buying demand to break that sell zone. So maybe that could be the process that the market is doing right now. Maybe the people are trying to build up enough power, enough momentum to finally break that zone to the upside. That's the only thing that it could be unless people are selling here before the market in Dogecoin takes a drastic move to the downside. Which one do you think it is? Take a look at Dogecoin here on the 330 minute chart. I, I'm not bullish right now. I must admit the chart looks pretty weak, but this area right here is a buy zone to me, meaning that whenever the market sees price go lower, it bounces off this zone. It did it twice here and then here. Definitely a lot of volume on this particular 330 minute bar. So, yeah, we need to keep our eyes open on that zone because if the market continues to hold that spot, then it tells you that the market ultimately is trying to break above 18 cents in the long term. OK, here it is on the daily chart. We're getting an indication of weakness. The market in Dogecoin currently is down 11 uh, percent. We have 12 hours, and 47 minutes left. I think we may see the market continue to go a little bit lower. That's how I'm going to be right now. But there's a lot of indications of weakness right here off the chart on the daily time frame. Look at all these indications of weakness here. So we cannot act like the market is not becoming weaker because it's definitely being seen off of our chart. Here it is on the two day time frame. OK, here it is on the three. I don't like the three, especially in the next 12 hours and 47 minutes. If we see Dogecoin close on the low like it currently is now. Yeah, we have to anticipate some lower prices. OK, here is on the five. Same thing. Twelve hours, though. So let's see. I'm going to anticipate some lower prices into the market in Dogecoin, but we need to see if the buyers are going to come back in. OK, so this could be an area. That we could potentially see the market hold here, too. So like, I don't want you all to think that this market is drastically weak, like I'm looking for it to crash because I'm not. We got these two areas that the market can literally hold support. So I'm going to pay attention to that. But yes, I have to, given what I see on the daily time frame, I had to look for the market to continue to go lower. So let me push this back on the daily. And that's what we're going to do. That's our resistance area. So the market and Dogecoin do come back up. Then we already know that we need to see the buyers break that zone. If they don't break the zone, then we already know that the anticipation of downward pressure is still there and that we will continue to look forward to price go lower. OK, so our first target is going to be right here in this zone, this first buy zone, either at the high or the low. At the low, it gives us seven and three quarters. 
Second tar is going to be at the second buy zone, either at the high, low, in between. That gives us 21, almost 22% move to the downside. So go ahead and give me your thoughts, though. Make sure you maintain the probability. And as always, trade different.